And good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Breaking the Ice. I am Brian Coe from the Penguins. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, thanks for jumping on board again. Uh, we're looking for a great night of breaks. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be a little bit longer than it has been. We actually uh, wasn't expecting it to happen, but two sold-out breaks this week. Um, so thank you guys for jumping on board, taking part in breaking the ice. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. I hope you guys are too. Good to see some people, uh, some familiar faces here in the uh, the chat already. Hey, Carl. Hey, Nicholas. How you guys doing tonight? Um, so yeah, so we're we're going to be off to a great start tonight. We're doing Mixer Four, which is a 2017-18 AHL hockey box, and an 2019-20 OPC hobby box here. I'm excited about this one because I love the old school look on some of these cards. And then Mixer Number Five, if you bought in, is another 2017-18 AHL box, and this 2019-20 MVP box. But before we get going, I wanted to give a couple shout outs. Uh, one to my good buddy, Billy out there at, uh, Steel City Collectibles, uh, Billy and the other guys out there sent us a bunch of stuff this week. So you can see my new breaking mat, my upper deck hockey breaking mat autographed by Pittsburgh Penguin, John Marino right there. Pretty cool. Uh, so making our lives a little bit easier here. We'll be able to see the cards a little bit better on that black background. It's going to be really nice. So thanks to the guys out there in Steel City and also thanks to them, uh, for, Sending along some giveaways. So, something a little bit special tonight. You know, we've got the two jersey giveaways we do every get that we're going to do after each break. So, after the OPG break, we're going to do the Brian Dumoulin uh, game issued but autographed Wilkes Barre Scranton Penguin retro jersey. After the MVP break, we're going to do the Sam Militic game worn jersey from this year. And I'll show those to you guys a little bit later on. Um, but also tonight, thanks to the guys at Steel City, they sent along some loose packs for us. So everybody tonight in their packages that come out are going to get a pack of 2017-18 AHL cards for themselves. And what I'm hoping that you guys can do is open those up, send us some photos of what you're pulling on your own, and uh, we can share them on our social media pages uh, and have a good time with them. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Good to see Jerry checking in from Shavertown. I want to uh, quick thank you tonight. We actually have six brand new breakers tonight. So thanks for the new guys for jumping on board. We hope you have a good time tonight. We hope it's going to be enjoyable for you and for everybody that's watching. Um, a couple of house cleaning uh, notes for you. I did not actually get a chance to send out last week's picks yet. Uh, so anybody that was in mixer number three last week, those will all be coming out with these mixes, these picks this week. So uh, that is my plan for tomorrow and Thursday in the office is to get everything organized and packaged and mailed out to you guys. So you all have it for the weekend. Um, and so you have some good stuff to uh, look at over the weekend here. Some of your nice pulls. Uh, another thing, number six, mixer number six has just gone live on dash right now. Um, where can we get? Oh, and Sean McNamara is chip, chirping in with a question. Where can we get in on future breaks? Perfect time, Josh or Sean. I'm sorry. If you go to bit.ly forward slash WBS dash, you can buy into our next round of breaks. So break number six, which we're hoping to pull for next Tuesday. And this one's going to be a little bit um, special. We're going to do a three box break. And what we're going to be doing is a box of 2018-19 AHL hobby, a 2019 Series 1 hobby box, and fresh off the production line this week, 2020-21 Upper Deck MVP. It doesn't come out until tomorrow. We're going to get our hands on a couple of boxes for that for the next couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to plan on opening that next Tuesday as long as everything sells out. Looks like we've already got some moving already. So if you want to get in, uh, head on over to Dash. Uh, so either the Dash app, if you have it where we do our jersey auctions, or you can go online, bit.ly forward slash WBS Dash. It's right on the scroll on the bottom of the screen if you're watching online. And uh, that's how you can buy into break number six. So we're excited about that one. Uh, that's going to be a three-box break. Trying to keep it a, a still at a reasonable price. And that's is a big thank you to everybody that's been jumping on uh, so far uh, through the first five weeks here. I 
I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying it and having a good time with it, and I am too. Um, before we get into things tonight, um, how about that trade today? Kasperi Kapanen, back to the Penguins. Um, you know, unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to David Warsawski. I wanted to, uh, you know, Kasperi Kapanen coming back is a pretty exciting move. Uh, a, a very high skilled player actually made his North American pro debut here in Wilkesbury back in 2015 as the youngest Penguin to ever score a goal uh, at 18 years and 259 days. He did that in his first game down in Lehigh Valley. Um, so back then, but I, I wanted to relate something um, quickly with about David Warsawski. David Warsawski has been our captain this year. He was here for three stints with the team. Uh, everybody knows what he brought to the ice. He was an all-star with us. Uh, what a lot of people don't know about hockey players is how good of guys they are off the ice. And David was definitely one of those. Um, if you're a local to Wilkes-Barre, you may know uh, uh, there was a little uh, a season ticket holder who lost her mother to cancer earlier this year. Um, David and his wife, Annie, uh, jumped on board to uh, help out that, that family in their time of need um, by supplying some Christmas presents. Uh, there was actually kind of a community event, and David and Annie uh, became a big part of that event and, and befriended this little girl. Uh, and it was something really special to, to kind of cheer up her spirits around the holidays. So um, just uh, I wanted to kind of give you a little insight into players and, uh, and you know, what you guys might not see behind the scenes. A lot of those guys don't like to publicize that kind of stuff. Um, but David was uh, definitely a, a good guy here in the community. He and his wife, Annie, did a lot of charity work uh, that you may not know about and, and behind the scenes stuff. So um, sad to see him go, but a good guy. And we're happy that we had him here and we'll always uh, – I have a nice memory of David Warsawski and his family here in Wilkes-Barre. So good luck to him as he goes off to Toronto. Um, but Kasperi Kapanen, um, back to Wilkes-Barre. We may be able to pull a Kasperi Kapanen tonight. You never know. Uh, he is in this 1718 set as a member of the Toronto Marlies. So we're going to see if we pull one out of there. Um, and if we do, we might come up with something fun to do with those cards or uh, maybe do another little prize giveaway if we – if we do that. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to open up Mixer 4 first. Then we're going to do the randomization for the Brian Dumoulin jersey, which I will show you guys a little bit later on. We'll do Mixer 5 second. We'll do the poll for the Sam Militech jersey after that. And we'll uh, and we'll go from there. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a longer break tonight. So if you are on board, why don't we just get things going here and get things started. Um, oh, there's a nice little... Thing from Randy here uh, about David Warsawski. There you go. So David was definitely uh, uh, David did celebrate Hanukkah. Um, didn't smile. He may not smiled on the outside a lot, but uh, you know did a lot of good stuff behind the scenes and uh, did have a good heart. So we're we're happy that he could be a part of the Penguins uh, and he'll always uh, have a place in our record books there too. So um, so the big trade today. The other big news out of the hobby industry, did everyone see the $4 million Mike Trout card this week? Amazing, huh? You wouldn't have thought that these uh, cards would go up so quickly in such a, a short amount of time, but they are. So, um, okay, enough of my talking. What do you say? Let's start raking here. We're going to move break five over to the side for right now, and we'll move away these nice free giveaways, these freebies that uh, Steel City sent along. Thank you to those guys. And everybody is going to get a pack of those in their packages this week. Everybody has bought in right now. Did I buy the trout card? Randy, not in your wildest dreams. I wish. Uh, I do have some trout cards, but nothing like that. Hey, James. James is checking in from Canada. Good to see you, James. Um, so we're going to go uh, get things rolling here. Thanks to Steel City for the nice box openers as well. Happy to have uh, along. <laughs> with the stimulus checks. You're right, Randy. What was I thinking? I'll save up. Maybe if we get that second one, I can afford a, a nice trout. I actually haven't bought any trout. I have been buying um, – I'll let you guys into kind of what I – the two guys that I've been high on lately in, uh, in baseball cards. Um, see what you think. I'm buying Juan Soto right now, and I'm also buying uh, Kyle Lewis. I don't know if you guys know who Kyle Lewis is. He's gonna—he's a hot rookie playing for the 
Seattle Mariners. Uh, he's actually third in Major League Baseball in batting right now. He uh, Last year when he came up, he hit home runs in his first three games, and I've been buying a little bit of Kyle Lewis um, uh, for my own personal uh, collection and maybe to make a little bit money in the very near future. So, um, so there you go. That's kind of what I'm doing. Any, you guys collecting anybody out there? Let me know. Chirp in, in the comments. We'll get things going here with this AHL break first. We've got a nice – oh, what am I doing? I haven't randomized the names yet. Duh. Okay, first thing we're going to do. Sorry, guys. I'm so excited about tonight's uh, breaks that I forgot to do things in order. So what we're going to do first is randomize the names of the people participating in tonight's breaks, and then we will randomize the teams, and we will get these breaks going. So I'm going to share my screen here with the teams. Uh, for Let's go to break number four first. Uh, just like last week, there are 30 teams in here. We have not included the St. Louis Blues because there were only 30 teams in the AHL in 2017-18. Uh, so uh, we are going to randomize the Blues later on. They What we'll do is whenever we do the jerseys, the top spot will win the jersey. The second spot will win the Blues. So somebody may get an extra team in their package this week. Somebody will get an extra team in their package this week. So grabbing all the teams right now, we're going to go over to random.org where we do all of our randomizations. We're going to start a new giveaway here. BTI, as always, breaking the ice. Paste those names in there. We're going to roll the dice three times. And we got the eight spot. So we're going to randomize this eight times here. And just so you guys can see, I'm going to go full screen on that. We're going to begin it. So excited about these breaks tonight, especially this OPG break. I really want to see these. I love the look of the old-timey cards. So I'm excited to rip into that box there. Some other new products that are coming out soon. So uh, we'll talk about those a little bit later on tonight or maybe next week. But that new MVP uh, that uh, comes out tomorrow, Steel City, has that up on their, on their site. And you can purchase that right now. Uh, and they can ship a box out to you. As, and they're very quick on their shipping. Uh, JPLMUS is the code on that break. We're going to go back over here, or on that randomization of the teams. Went back over there. We will now go back into and share. As you can see here, I'm going to scroll through these real quick. The names for break number four, Tim, Carl, Randy, Jeremy, John, Jason, Patty, James, Cody, Brittany, Jason, Michael. Michael's a new guy. Thanks for jumping on, Mike, if you're watching. Amy, Jeff, uh, and a bunch of other regulars in there, too. So we're going to copy those names now. We're going to take those over. random.org. We'll do a new one. Paste those names in there. We're going to roll that die. And we've got 15. So 15 rounds here. Here we go. So this is to, this will help you figure out who your teams are for tonight. What I'll do is after this is done, I will head over to our Facebook page quickly I'll copy these. I will paste these into the uh, the comments section and pin it to the top so you can see who your teams are. I'll also give you a quick look here. And the verification code on that one is XQMWJH, XQMWJH. So let's see here. We are going to... Yeah, we'll figure out the poster here in a minute. The poster is actually the San Diego Gauls. And we're going to figure out who gets that in just a second here. There's our, uh, there is our order for tonight. Let me take the uh, – Randy, let's take your little thing off the screen there just so everybody can see who they have in this first – so we'll give it a minute here. Brittany, you got Colorado and San Antonio. Jeff, Jersey, Vegas. Jason Barr, you got Anaheim. Pittsburgh. Patty Kennedy, thanks, Patty. Congratulations. 
So you can take a look at who you got there. If I'm going too fast, let me know. But what I'm going to do is copy all of these. I'm going to head over to our Facebook page. I'm going to put these into the uh, comments section underneath the live feed so you guys can see them and have easy access to them. If you're watching over on YouTube, as I know some of you guys like to, uh, you can do that at that point. You can kind of turn back over here. So you see the numbers, the numbers coordinate. Uh, so there are, you'll see it's coming from my personal account. I forgot to turn over to the Wilkesbury account, but that we're going to, uh, it's in there. So now you can see your teams. Uh, you can see them right here on the screen here. I'm gonna take them off of the screen right now. And we are gonna start going with the first break. So without further ado, San Diego Gauls is the poster, the logo poster for tonight. San Diego. Let's see here. Who's got Anaheim and San Diego? So that is coming out to Jason Barr. There you go, Jay Barr. See that hanging up on your refrigerator whenever we check in next week. Nice picture of you now. Well, speaking of uh, Warsawski, that was the jersey we gave away last week for Jason Ward. But Jason Barr, thanks for posting that photo of you in the uh, Trotman jersey you won a couple of weeks ago on on Twitter the, uh, the other day. It was really cool to see. So we're going to rip into these AHL cards. I'm going to go a little bit faster tonight just because I want to get through both breaks in a reasonable amount of time. So we'll stop for any of our autographs. There should be three autographs in this first box of AHL cards. We'll talk a little bit about if we run into any Penguins or anybody we know, anyone we're familiar with. But we'll try and keep things moving a little bit here. Nicholas. Oh, yeah, Nicholas is talking about So, uh, Nicholas, how about Barry Goers going on American Ninja Warrior? If you guys have not heard, former Penguin Barry Goers is going to be a participant. <coughs> excuse me. On American Ninja Warrior coming up in about two weeks. We're actually going to have a little chat with Barry. Um, we've been in touch with him. He actually reached out to us whenever he start, found out he was going to be on the show. And we're talking to him a bit. We're going to have a sit-down chat with him live online. So tune in for that pretty soon. We'll have some information. There's Travis Morin, a nice silver uh, foil version for the Dallas Stars. Or Texas Stars in that one. So Texas is uh, who got Texas and Dallas. Randy Boone. There you go, Randy. And Carl gives us the scoring updates. Boston is up 1-0. How about the game so far? Those Islanders taking down the Flyers the other night. A couple of big games tonight. We got uh, Vegas is uh, looking to go up 2-0. Excited about that one, that round. I think that's a really interesting uh, matchup there. Team standouts, Jason Dickinson from the Stars. TK. Tom Kostopoulos, Edberg, Rube. There you go, Randy. Woohoo, a hit. You got it, man. Let's see if we can pull some bigger things. Now, one thing I did want to talk about last week, we pulled those six silver signatures out of the uh, MVP box. Those are actually not real autographs. I, I did a little bit more research. They are actually mass produced, but they still are uh, they're shorter prints. And they're good looking autograph uh, autographed cards, um, but we will have three for real, honest to goodness autographs coming out of these AHL boxes tonight. So stick tuned, stay tuned for that. Uh, and there's some pretty cool stuff that comes out of those Opeachy boxes too. And then we're hoping for some big stuff out of those MVPs next week as well, because the that'll be hobby boxes, not uh, retail boxes. So the might be a little bit better stuff there. Spencer Fu, Matt Pumple. Those team leader cards are, are interesting. They, they're a little bit different textured, so they're kind of uh, that old-timey feel as well. But, yeah, getting back to Barry Goers. I don't know if you guys remember. Barry was here for about three or four years. Uh, 
defenseman, uh, had to retire a couple of years ago after playing a season with Rochester, had some concussion problems, but I talked to him a little bit ago. He's doing great. He's got into this American Ninja Warrior stuff a lot. He lives out in Colorado, uh, and he's been training for it a lot. Uh, so, you know, we're hoping that he goes a good way during this upcoming season. Um, and we're hoping that our fans can really get behind him and, and tune in and, and cheer him on online. So we're going to be doing some stuff to help him out along the way as well. Really good guy. Uh, there was another one of those nice foil cards there. That is a for the uh, Belleville Senators. So Ottawa Belleville. Who do we got there? Carl, there you go. And Carl also gives us the, the scoring update. One to one, Tampa Boston now. A couple of big signings along in the last week or so for us is for the Wilkesbury as well. I don't know if you saw Kevin Stevenson's son. Kevin Stevens is son. Luke Stevens signed with us. Uh, it was actually originally drafted by Carolina, but we're looking forward to get him in here. Felix Robert out of the uh, QMJHL. And then Pittsburgh with the, uh, the signing of Maniscalco out of Arizona State. Uh, pretty interesting move as well. So excited about some of the moves coming, some of the players we might see in the upcoming uh, season. as we get closer to that time and hopefully we have some more information about when we will be back on the ice for, for certain, uh, December 4th is the target date. You know, everything's going to depend on how we're doing with virus fighting and all that kind of stuff. So do your part out there and help keep us all safe from the coronavirus. Let's beat this thing and get back into the arena where we all belong. Hopefully we'll see you guys there soon. Casey to Smith. One thing I did not mention, uh, Steel City also sent along a nice 8x10 Casey DeSmith autographed photo uh, that we'll be giving away next week with our breaks. Um, so they sent us a bunch of stuff. We're really happy that they've taken a, uh, notice of what we're doing out here and having a good time with us. First autograph of the night, Matthew Highmore for the Rockford Ice Hogs and the Chicago Blackhawks. So Chicago, Brittany. Congratulations, Brittany. You got the first autograph of the night. Sending that one out to you. Um, so, yeah. Hockey. Anyone surprised by anything going on in the playoffs so far? I'm a little surprised that uh, Philadelphia got shut out in that first game. But... Uh, you know, lots of lots of good hockey coming up. Andrew Hammond. Second autograph, Adam Tambellini. Hartford Wolfpack, New York Rangers. So who do we got there? New York Rangers. Carl. Carl's got a big night going so far. Nice hit there, Carl, for your collection. Let's see what we also got here. I've not seen a Kasperi Kapanen yet. He's a short print in this one. And there is autograph number three, Adam Carlson, goaltender for Hershey. We got three packs in a row and three, three autographs. So that is Hershey is Washington Hershey. Who do we get for that one? James Beavers, there you go, James. Congratulations, buddy. That'll be heading your way. Oh, Tampa's goal was taken away. Oh, Carl's keeping us up to date on the games here. I can't watch them all. I can't watch the breaks and watch the games, so I'm going to rely on Carl, you're our official scorekeeper for tonight. Let us know what's going on. Keep us up to date on those games. Hopefully no five overtimers tonight, like a couple weeks ago. Team standouts, Cal Peterson, Nina Sulmark. Mm. 
Evo, Mike Riley, Christopher Gibson. Balsers, Spencer Fu, Dominic Simone, second penguin, or third penguin. We got a TK, we got a DeSmith, and we got a Dominic Simone, Tommy Cross, Julian Gauthier. I was thinking about that trout card we were talking about. Oh, wait, Brandy Oliver, don't be questioned. I'm new here. Two spots. Number six. This is number four right now, Brandy. The next one we do, so these two boxes that we're doing right now, number four, number five is coming up immediately after this. If you just bought tonight for six, we'll be doing that one next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Assume, or is, assuming that it fills. So we need to sell all the spots first before we do it. Uh, and not a dopey question at all. Happy to answer any questions about breaks, about cards anything i can help with i'm still you know i'm still learning along the way as well i've been collecting for years kind of got out of it got back into it in the last two years or so um started doing breaks about a year ago so never a dopey question so if you bought tonight for break number six that is actually gonna be next week but you're more than welcome to stick around here and talk and chat and just kind of see what the process is like so you know what you're getting yourself into uh, so number six will be coming up next week with the three boxes, including the new product, the MVP for 2020-21. That is on sale starting tomorrow. You can get yours through Steel City, uh, Steel City Collectibles. Those guys are great. They've given us a bunch of free stuff to give away to you guys. And this portion of the broadcast is brought to you by Silly Willy Ice Cream. As you can hear, I'm pulling up in front of the house here in West Pittsburgh. So if you're ever trying to figure out where I live, just follow the ice cream man. Tuesday nights about this time, you will figure it out. Look at that extra autograph in this box. Four autographs. Ice cream man. <laughs> Look at that. We got a fourth autograph in this box. How about that? You're only supposed to get three. We got four. Oh, look at that, Brandy. So she's happy for number six next week. Get that Smith photo. Uh, Dominic Turgeon, Grand Rapids. So that is Detroit and Grand Rapids. That is going out to Jeremy. There you go, Jeremy. Local guy, Jeremy. Uh, congratulations there. The, the bonus autograph in that box. How about that? Again, pulling fire. As a couple of you guys would say. So we're down to uh, two packs here left in the AHL. Then we'll get on to the OPG. Another Casey DeSmith there. Cal Peterson. Connor Ingram. Final pack in the AHL part. Gage Quinney. There you go. Currently with the Vegas Golden Knights. Another foil, Alex Nedeljkovic, Charlotte, and Charlotte and Carolina. Brittany again. Congratulations, Brittany, back-to-back. -back. It's there. And Oscar Lindbaum, doing better there. <laughs> I wish, Jay. I wish I don't think I'm that good yet, but we'll keep it going. So that is the AHL break portion of mixer number four. Now we're moving on to the OPG box. This one is the one I've been waiting to do. I'm excited. Uh, I, I love kind of classic cards, old time cards, vintage stuff. So this is something I'm really excited. About. I want to see what these look like. I know there's the, the base product. Is a more modern version, but there are some uh, kind of retro parallels in this one that I would like to see us pull some. A little advertisement there on the top, detailing what's inside. Some rookie standouts in these packs. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 18 packs. 
10 cards per pack. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clear off the AHLs just to give ourselves some more room. All the hits I will put into uh, penny sleeves and top loaders for you guys, uh, or else they'll come in a nice, secure plastic. Making sure those, the good hits are uh, taken care of for you guys whenever they're sent out. So here we go. The Aopichi 2019-20 Hobby Box. Let's see what we find in here. You can see they kind of got that retro look on the back as well. These are more of a paper product than the, uh, the other ones, less glossy. P.K. Subban, Jordan Binghamton. Oh, there we go. We, our first kind of a uh, Sebastian Ajo, kind of the old tobacco card looking version there. Very nice. Arizona Coyotes, Coyotes. Couple of checklists there, Ilya Kovalchuk, and another checklist. Look at that. We got all the checklists in there. We'll figure out a way to uh, randomize uh, somebody will get those checklists as well. You'd be surprised if you look at some of the old, old product. Checklist cards are very valuable because when they were kids, they would mark kids would mark them off. Uh, so they're not in great condition. So if you find one that is in super condition, uh, they're actually really valuable oh there we go there's our first kind of old-timey looking one andrew shaw well not the first one but uh sebastian Aho was the first one but this is kind of that that retro look to it montreal very nice and right behind it check this out this is kind of a subset that's inside there they're playing cards nico heischer Throw them away. <laughs> That's what Carl used to do with the uh, checklist. Should have kept them all, Carl. Be like those Mike Trouts these days. Anybody have a 2011 Mike Trout? Let me know. Chris Letang, all-star card. Oh, we, I kind of went right over this one, too. Marquee Rookie for Columbus. There we go. Yeah, if anybody's got a 2011 Mike Trout, hit me up. I'll see if I can track down somebody that's got about $3 million. We can make a deal on them. Get this off. I don't want to do anything to the corners there. Ben Bishop. Matt Zuccarello. Corey Crawford. Kind of that old time feel there as well. Oh, and there we go. Brandon Gignac. Blue parallel on that one. So Jersey. New Jersey Devils. Jeff Cloaker. There you go, Jeff. Congratulations. Brandon Tanev. Oh. Mike Green. OPG has a new product coming out in another month or so uh, as well for the, the upcoming season. It's, it's funny that they're already making cards for 2021 when this season's not even over yet. But, you know, strange times, strange production schedules. Alexander Steen. Milan Lucic. Vegas team checklist, Oscar Sundqvist, former Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguin, Pittsburgh Penguin, Stanley Cup winner now. There we go. Some other stuff coming up. Uh, Pierre Luke. Uh, Pierre Luke. Pierre Olivier Joseph is going to be on the Soul on Ice podcast tomorrow for the NHL. 
Uh, you might want to tune that in and check that out. Uh, interesting to hear his thoughts on what's going on in the world these days. Michael Rasmussen, Philip Myers, marquee rookie. Jeff Skinner, all-star card. Owen Carlson. We've got another one of those minis coming up, it looks like. Carey Price. Those tobacco cards are pretty cool. I actually have in my collection, my own personal collection, Kyle Turris. Oh, look at that. Kyle Connor, blue parallel as well. Uh, I have a couple of old tobacco cards, baseball cards. Uh, one I picked up years ago when I was still back there in Center Township in Western PA. Uh, the Beaver Valley Mall used to have a little stand in the middle, and there was a guy that sold, like, coins and cards. And I picked it up from him uh, for, like, 20 bucks. It's not worth very much. It's not in great condition, but it's a kind of a cool little card. It's actually the card right before the Hannes Wagner card, uh, the famous Hannes Wagner card. It's a, a player named Heine Wagner that played for the Boston Red Sox. Eric Carlson. Um, so maybe I'll pull that out for you guys next week, show it to you. Keith Yandel, retro version there. Kyle Sherwood, rookie. Uh, and then I have a couple other of those, uh, a couple other old tobacco cards that I purchased for the last couple of years. It's a player named Steve Yerke. And the reason that I bought Steve Yerkes cards is because my wife's maiden name is Yerkes. Her name is uh, Kate Yerkes. She's from Honesdale, locally here. Uh, so I started keeping my eye out. There's only, he only has about three or four cards from back then. He played for Boston, and he played for the Chicago Cubs for a small, short amount of time. He only has two or three cards. Uh, so I tracked down a couple of them. So maybe I'll pull those out for you guys next week, show you a little bit of my own personal collection there. Another one of those trait of those game cards, Ryan O'Reilly. See if you can put together the full set. You got to buy a bunch of boxes to do that, probably. But those are kind of fun. Two cups for Oscar. Uh, yeah, I believe so, Randy. I'm not sure. I don't know. He actually is not on the cup. As a member of the Penguins, I don't think. Um, I believe he was on the the taxi squad, the Black Aces, but he did not actually participate uh, with the team in that playoffs that year. So I don't think he's on the cup, but he was up on the taxi squad. Nico Heischer. Claude Giroux. Backstrom there. And we got another blue parallel here. For the LA Kings. So we're putting all the parallels and the short prints and everything over there. Nazem Kadri. Um, so I know he does have one. Good question, Randy. Uh, I do not believe they are serial. I looked on the back. Let's check real quickly. I don't think they're serial numbered. I looked real quickly before. Nothing on the back. And nothing on the front. So I think they're kind of a short print, but they're not serial numbered. I know there are some serial numbered ones in here, uh, probably like reds or blank. I know there's some blank backs uh, that are supposed to be worth a little bit of money. So we'll keep our eyes out for those. So blank back, if you're not familiar, is the same as just what it sounds like. It's the card, but with nothing on the back. So we'll keep our eyes open for that. Speaking of Pierre Olivier Joseph, there's his brother, Matthew Joseph. Kevin Hayes, brother of former Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguin, uh, Jimmy Hayes. Jimmy just started a podcast, too. I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, but I just saw the first episode came out last week. Chris Kreider, Brady Keeper, checklist number two, Jake Muzzin. So if you're looking for some more content for your ears, uh, 
Jimmy was a jokester. I'm sure, he's got a lot of opinions and a lot of uh, stories to tell. Uh, it's, I can't remember. It's it's him and two other players, two other former players. Probably worth a good listen. Tarasenko, Martin Jones, marquee rookie Josh Curie. And here we go. Here's something different. Black version, John Tavares. That is serial numbered. 42 of 100. You can see it right there. So Jonathan Tavares, Toronto Maple Leafs, who's got the Torontos. Amy, congratulations, Amy. So that is a serial numbered version. The black borders are serial numbered 42 of 100. So only 100 versions of that card produced. Let me just double check real quick. Yeah, you can see on the back of these blue ones, nothing down there like that. So the black versions are 100s. Congratulations, Amy. I think we got all the checklists. Seen a lot of them so far. Michael Grabner, Kyle Ocposo, Alex Galchenik, blue border on that one, Jay Beagle, haven't seen a lot of penguins out of this yet, have we? Haven't seen any of the big guys. See if we come up with anything as we go along here. Chris Russell. Former Penguin Ben Lovejoy. Dr. Lovejoy. Good player down here in Wilkesbury. He and uh, Elaine Mazardine set the team record for plus minus one year. They were like a plus 90 or something like that. It was crazy. Oh boy. Oliver ba Bjorkstrand. Gold version. So the blacks were 2 100. This one is not. This one is not uh, serial numbered. Thought it would be. Thought gold meant the best, right? But it's not. Still pretty cool. Uh, ben Lovejoy. Uh, Cerebral Assassin, uh, two-time cup winner, all-around good guy. Actually, uh, Max Domi, uh, when he first came here, uh, I asked him to write a weekly column for one of the week one of the uh, local papers, and he took to that. Really nice job on it. Adam Larson, looks like we got another black version coming up back here. Guillaume Brisebois. Vancouver, 45 of 100. Vancouver. Cody Moyer. Congratulations, Cody. John Natalia, yeah, John. I don't think I can afford that. Uh, I know there's uh, a big... Tiger Woods in that box. I'm sure that they have it too there in Steel City. Um, if I had the cash for that, <laughs> we'll see. I'm actually toying with the idea. I, I'm trying to keep everything, um, you know, one of the things I want to do with these breaks, uh, as long as you guys are jumping in, is I want to keep them all fairly uh, affordable for everybody. I don't want to price anybody out. But I am looking at doing a, uh, a box or two of kind of a higher price um product there's mark andre fleury uh but still keeping the price at a reasonable level so i'll let you know a little bit more about what i'm thinking with that in the next week or so there's some new products that are coming out that ingrained uh and things like that that have uh more chances of autograph less fewer cards but more chances of an autograph with those cards so i, I kind of have an idea in my head what i want to do with that uh and make a box or two of those available to you guys as well. We would do some sort of combined break again, uh, keep the price low, um, 
some of those boxes only have like 30 cards in them. So instead of getting a team for that second box, you would be assigned a slot. So one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And then whatever number you got, that's the corresponding card that we picked is what you would get. Um, so I'm tossing around some ideas like that. P.K. Subban, Nashville playing card. So I'll come up with a kind of more clear idea for you guys with that coming up. And we can talk about it. And uh, I always want your guys' feedback. I've been I got some great emails from you guys from some of you uh, over the last week here. I'm always happy to hear from you guys and with uh, what can we do better? What do, what do you like? What do you think we should improve on? Dylan Larkin, three of diamonds. And I take uh, I, I take all that stuff into consideration because I want this to just be kind of a fun thing we do. Um, you know, and we've got a nice little group here. I actually went through and counted all the people that have been in the breaks since we started. We have over 45 people that have uh, taken part in these now, so including those six new guys tonight. So I'm really appreciative of everybody that's taken part um, and been uh, here from the beginning or has just jumped on lately. Doesn't matter when. Thanks for being part of it. Drew Doherty. Drew Do Doherty. Uh, Matthew Barzel. Bastian Chuck, Jordan Everly, and Dylan Strum. So nothing huge out of that OPG box, but we've got some really – I like these – I do like these old-timey T206 kind of looking cards there. I think those are pretty cool. So some nice stuff there out of uh, Mixer number four. Let's get all these cards out of the way for the time being. As I said before – my plan is for the next two days to get everything sorted, packed, and out to you guys. Now the big moment for this break, we're going to give away the Brian Dumoulin Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins retro jersey. So this was a jersey. You can see it's the old time. Uh, we did a throwback game back in 2014 when Brian was here. He actually did not play in the game. Um, I checked the uh, the online score sheets the other day, and he was in a game right before it and a game right after it, so he might have this little, a little ding. Um, but he did not play in the game, but we have the jersey. It is autographed right there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to re-randomize all of the people that were in mixer number four. And we are going to give this jersey away. This is good. The, the jersey goes to the top spot. The second spot will get the St. Louis Blues that we pulled out of those uh, out of that OPG box. So any St. Louis Blues that we pulled will be going to the second spot in the randomizer. So let me share my screen here with you guys again. I'm going to share just so you can see that it's on the up and up. I'm grabbing all of the names. And now we're going to share random.org once again. Do a new giveaway. Paste all those names in there. Do not pay attention to the numbers to the left. Uh, they are not going to court because what's going to happen is it's going to generate the numbers again. So you're going to see two numbers to the left of your names. Uh, all you need to know is that the top spot is going to get the jersey. The second spot is going to get the St. Louis Blues. So let's roll those dice. 14 on the randomizer. And we are sharing that. You guys can see it. And here we go. Good luck to everybody. We give away a jersey with every break we do. So uh, if this is your first time watching, uh, always a chance to win a great prize if you buy into one of the breaks. 
uh, giving away some cool stuff so far. This is one of my favorite looking jerseys. Here we go with the final round. So everybody cross your fingers. Top spots getting the jersey. Second spot gets St. Louis. Michael, congratulations, Michael. That's uh, some beginner's luck there, too. First break for Michael, and he wins the jersey. Tim, you're getting the St. Louis Blues. And that is T-K-O-Z-C-M as your verification code. Congratulations, Michael. You are taking home that jersey. Let me just uh, – I always like to put things in order here before I forget about them, so I just save those names in that order. So, Michael Ulot, it looks like. You are getting that jersey. Yes, Randy, uh, are you number three on that list, Randy? Because if you are, I will send you a pack of – you are. Okay, nutty buddies. We'll see if we can get them uh, all in one piece out to you. Congratulations, Michael. Beginner's luck. First break in, you're winning a jersey. So we'll get that shipped out to you this week. Along with your cards, everybody else, congratulations on your cards. Congratulations on everybody. Don't forget, even if you didn't win the jersey or the St. Louis Blues, everybody is getting a pack of cards courtesy of Steel City. So we'll get those out to you as well. So that is mixer number four in the books. Now we are moving on to mixer number five. Tonight's second mix, tonight's second break. <laughs> you didn't even realize it, Randy. You do get the nutty buddies. <laughs> Carl, last week there were, we did five prizes last week. Um, we did the pucks. Oh, you know what? I may have to go back and see if, uh, if I had in there. Maybe there were five prizes. I think there are some pucks that go with this too. Uh, if that's the case, I will I'll double check the uh, the posting. I think I think you're right, actually. So I think there are I, so the top five get prizes. So there were the jersey and some pucks. So we'll get those pucks out to uh, the people in that list. Let me pull up my list real quickly here. I think it was Randy, Tim, Carl, and Jeremy would be the next ones. So um, I'll just double check the posting to make sure that's what was in there. Uh, but don't forget, everybody is getting a pack of card, you know, a free pack of cards from Seal City. We've got lots of great prizes. We always try to send a little bit of different stuff uh, out to, you know, we, we want to make it worth your while. So we're going to send prizes and, and freebies and things that you don't expect uh, all the time to you. So that's number four in the books. So let's go into number five now. So we are going to share mixer number five. You can see number five. This is for the AHL box and the MVPs. So just like we did for the last one, we're going to randomize the team names, then we're going to randomize the pickers, and then we will start breaking into these. So uh, a couple of newbies over on this side. I saw them. Uh, welcome aboard. And Vasilios, two of the newer guys that jump in our breaks. Thanks for being a part of everything. So let's get break in here. Let's get uh, everything randomized. I'm going to grab the teams, copy them. Let's head on over to random.org again. Do a new giveaway. So we're going to randomize the teams for this break. This is mixer number five. Take out that spot there. And again, no St. Louis Blues in this one, so we'll randomize the Blues. Six on this randomizer. And six. Arizona gets the top spot. San Jose at the bottom. ZCG FSA. And don't forget the reason we read off those codes is if you want to, you can come back in. And check them out uh, just to make sure we're on the up and up. Let's do a new giveaway here. I just grabbed all the names. So we got Carl, George, Corey, Tim, Chris, Carmen, Jason, Jeremy, Jeffrey, Randy, Isom, Carl, Brittany, Cody, Chris, Amy, Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy is another new, uh, I, I believe, another uh, 
new breaker with us this week. Welcome aboard. DTI. And we're going to roll that three times. 12 on that. So this is going to decide the order, uh, the teams that you guys are going to get for this second break tonight. Uh, this is mixer number five, if you've purchased. Don't forget, mixer number six is on sale right now. It's a three-box mixer. It's going to feature the brand-new 2020-21 MVP, which comes out tomorrow, that you can purchase online through most card outlets, including Steel City Collectibles. DQICIJ is on that randomizer there. So we're going to... Paste all those names in there. So there are your teams and breaks for mixer number five. Check your name real quick here. Again, I will copy these, put them into the stream over on Facebook so you have easy access to see who gets what. I'm going to copy those, head on over to our Facebook page. I'm just scrolling through our Facebook page real quick while I do this. I don't know if you guys have been uh, following along with the uh, what's been going on with our friend Wilma. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. We we uh, kind of we found a cat that was living behind our practice facility, and we kind of adopted her. Well, we didn't adopt her really. We did but what we've done is uh we we found out she was pregnant and uh we got her to the the doctor uh the vet got her taken care of and she's being taken care of by some great foster parents now uh she actually had two babies um when we found her she was pregnant uh we found out whenever we took her to the vet she had two babies the first one unfortunately was a stillborn uh, but the second one was born. His name is Sidney. They named him after Sidney Crosby. And then um, kind of the amazing part of the story is that uh, the foster was given a baby cat uh, that was only a couple of hours old pretty soon after that. And um, Wilma, the mother cat, took that cat in. And uh, has now adopted that cat and has been nursing her and feeding her and taking care of her. So we actually saved three cats overall, if you want to look at it that way. Um, so there we go. Uh, those names, uh, if you go over to, um, if you go over to our Facebook page now, you can see the teams there. So Corey Daly, dang, I had the Red Wings a few mixers ago. What are the odds? Well, odds are one in 30. <laughs> um, but what we can do is, is there anybody out there that wants to trade for the Red Wings? Anybody interested in trading Corey for the Red Wings? Uh, I'll give you 30 seconds here. <sighs> Randy, break number six, one jersey and two kittens. Well, we're hoping that all three of those kittens get adopted together. Uh, we're going to do our best to help those people that are fostering the kittens Find them new homes um, and see what see if they can uh, get good lives out of this. You know, uh, it was kind of a cat just kind of came over and was meowing at us one day behind the building, and we took care of her. And then um, hopefully it, it turns out to be a nice story. So Corey, no big deal, haha. We'll make it up to you somehow, Corey. If you're getting too many Red Wings, but um, kind of some of the other breaks that I'm in, they do actually do a. Whenever they randomize the names, they do a, a one-minute or two-minute trading period. Um, that really only works if you've got the majority of the people online watching. Um, I've traded a few times in similar situations. Um, well, here we go. Randy said he would do the uh, 
Canadians for the Red Wings. So what do you think? Canadians for Red Wings? Let me know what you think. Randy's being a, a good uh, breaker here, a good breaker pile. Willing to give those up. Carl says that's a good trade. What do you think, Corey? I'll give you to 802. It's 801 right now. If we don't hear from Corey by 802, we'll stick with our teams. Well, we can do this for right now anyway. Open up this box. Ontario Rain. So the uh, who has Los Angeles in this mixer number five? Los Angeles is going to Los Angeles and Ontario. Jason Savarino. So, Jason, that Ontario rain poster is headed your way. So, Corey, what we said, um, Randy, uh, who's over on YouTube and watching, is willing to trade the Montreal Canadiens for the Red Wings. So, wondering if that is something you want to do. Uh, uh, <laughs> Carl wants a rain jersey, too. Um <laughs> But so, Corey, if you are willing to trade, if you want to get rid of Detroit, Randy Boone is willing to uh, trade you for the Montreal Canadiens. Let us know what you think there. Give you another minute since you kind of missed out on it. I also think my stream, whenever I'm talking, I'm a little bit ahead of you guys. I'm probably like 15, 20 seconds ahead of you guys. So, give you another a little bit of time here. So Corey Daly. There we go. <laughs> so Randy, you're good with the uh, Detroit and Montreal switch. Corey's good with the Detroit Montreal switch. What I'm going to do is go into my spreadsheet and I'm going to change those two around. So Corey, you are now going to have Montreal. Randy, you now get Detroit. Thank you guys for doing that. Or Randy, thank you especially for doing that. That's the way things should work around here, you know? Everybody uh, kind of takes care of one another. And we have a good time with it. We want it to be friendly. We want everybody to have a good time. Randy got a cool KHL jersey. Oh, that's <laughs> probably set you back a little bit. The Russian COA, huh? Signed by Putin. So thanks, guys. Thanks, Randy, for doing that. Corey, congratulations. You got rid of those Detroits that you didn't want anymore, and now you got Montreal. So let's see what we can pull for you guys now. Hopefully, both of you guys get some big hits here. And we'll go pretty quickly here through the AHL box again. Most of you guys have seen all this product already. We'll keep an eye out for the autographs. Sixty bucks for a Dynamo Lasko jersey. It's not one of those Russian Penguins jerseys, is it? There's a interesting looking um, documentary out right now about the Russian Penguins. I don't know if you guys know about the Russian Penguins. Back in the '90s, the Pittsburgh Penguins bought the Russian Red Army team or uh, had some sort of agreement with them, and they rebranded them as the Russian Penguins. Um, kind of a very similar logo to ours in here in Wilkes-Barre. Uh, you can go online and Google it. Uh, I'm, I actually want to sit down and watch the documentary. It looks very interesting, kind of about all the behind the scenes, the life in Russia, what goes on there for hockey players, and uh, kind of the fiasco that it actually turned into. But I remember I was in college when that team, when that was going on, and Iron City Beer put out some Russian Penguin uh, beer cans. Here's our first foil, Michael Dow Cole. So that is the Islanders and the Sound Tigers. So, Carl, there you go, Carl. Right off the bat for you.
you hear some weird stories from some guys that have played over in the KHL recently. I know uh, Brian Whitney, if you tune in to Spitting Chicklets, he's got some good story, well, not so good stories about his time in the KHL. Uh, sometimes paychecks were a little slow or non-existent. Sometimes your paycheck came in a black or a black suitcase or a brown paper bag. Uh, there you go, Arn. Pump an arm. And uh, former Wilkesbury Scranton Penguin Darcy Vareau played over there for a bit. He had some stories about how he, if you didn't fight, you didn't get paid, things along those lines. There we go, our first autograph of the second break here Ty Ratty, Bakersfield Condors, and the. Uh, Edmonton Oilers. So that is Cody, Cody Moyer. Congratulations. Ty Ratty. First autograph of the second AHL box. Into our second hour tonight, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Still 25 people or so on board. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys spending some time here. Uh, makes it fun to chat. Makes it fun to one, chat out loud and two, see what your guys' comments are and maybe put some nice hits for you guys as well. So next week, that three box break, which is already halfway sold out from what I'm told. I haven't had a chance to go over and look at it yet, but earlier in the broadcast said there was only 15 spots left. Uh, is going to feature a 2018-19 AHL box, 2019-20 Series 1, which is the box that we pulled the Quinn Hughes clear-cut card from a few weeks ago, which is going for about $400 online right now, and the brand-new MVP Hobby box. So a three-box break. We'll do another great jersey giveaway with that. I'll dip into my uh, treasure trove of jerseys in my office this week. Pick out something cool for you guys. Kevin Waugh, current Penguin. His jersey, actually, just uh, we sold two of his tonight on Dash. Uh, I know you guys utilize Dash to get on the breaks. It's also where we do our jersey auctions. So if you're ever in the market for some jerseys, check that out. We do two, two jerseys you know, every weekday. Uh, we're doing that right now for our first – uh, for all the jerseys from last season, um, we've got the white versions and the yellow versions of most of the guys that have been going up. And we've got enough to get us through probably another month. Um, and then I've got some old style jerseys. Cody, I know you're looking for that blue jersey. I haven't been able to track anything down yet, but I've got one more place I'm going to look for you and let you know if I come up with anything. Reed Boucher, foil version. For the Utica Comets, Vancouver Utica. That is Patty Kennedy. There you go, Patty. Down to 12 now, Carl says. Jason had it, got it down to 13, down to 12. So we've got uh, – that should be fun next week. I, I wanted to do something a little special uh, – as a thank you to you guys for doing all this stuff. So I'm trying to keep that, that, that break's going to be, it's $5 more than what we usually do, but it is an extra whole box. So really when you think about it, 30 bucks for three boxes uh, and chance to win a Jersey. Uh, I think that's going to be a pretty cool break for us, especially the brand new product. We'll be amongst the first to see that unless you buy a box in advance, you can go over to steel city and buy a box yourself. And I'm looking at some other stuff to come up. I'm trying to put together kind of a little break schedule for us going forward uh, into the next couple months here. Keep us occupied until we get back onto the ice. Um, as I, I kind of say every week, I'll keep doing them as long as you guys keep enjoying them. And, um, you know, we, ha we have some fun with them. I never want this to – this is never going to be uh, – the point of this is more to engage with you guys and have fun and talk a little hockey and talk collecting. 
uh, and get you back into the, the hobby if you've been out. It's kind of how I got back in a, a year or two ago, uh, getting into box breaks and, and having fun online and kind of building a little community. So that's kind of the whole idea behind it. It's not a huge moneymaker, um, but it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to try and keep these as reasonably priced as possible so that everybody can enjoy them. There we go. Next autograph, Rochester and Buffalo. And that is Jeffrey Amos. There you go, Jeffrey. Congratulations. Brendan Gould. Autograph number two out of our second AHL box. Gage Quinney, Austin Zarniak, Patrick Demko. A lot of goaltenders in that pack. Austin Ortega, Kevin Porter, former Penguin. We got another foil version, Morgan Klimchuk. That is Calgary and Stockton. So who's got the Flames? Brittany Curtis. Congratulations, Brittany. Another hit for you. The Delic kick. Ty Ratty. Should be one more autograph in here. Hopefully they don't even out like the last one. Maybe they did four when they were supposed to do three, and they were only going to do two when they are supposed to do three. Hopefully we get our third in here. Always nice to get that extra. Not so nice to get fewer than you hoped. I've seen it. I've been on the receiving end of that in the past. Bought a box or two here or there that was supposed to have an autograph. This is on average one autograph on the box. No autograph. Always kind of a bummer. But it all evens out over time every now and then. You get that extra one. Jason Barr, will Tuesdays always be the day moving forward? I That's my plan. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, it lets everybody know that we're doing them on the on the um, same day every week. It helps me keep on schedule. Uh, as long as you guys like it on Tuesdays. Um, we've got some other stuff going on on other days of the week online, too. This is kind of reason I Tuesday was kind of a – an open spot for us for our programming, quote unquote. Um, so uh, I like Tuesdays as long as you guys like Tuesdays. Thanks, Brandy. I appreciate you. Anton Bebo, Mike Riley, Christopher Gibson. But don't worry about it, Brandy. Now you know. If you didn't know about it before tonight, now you know. And, and don't forget, tell some of your friends. Um, spread the wealth. Spread the word. Uh, let's turn this into a kind of a fun thing here going forward for lots of people. Joey Lalasia. Again, uh, oh, that's our second um, Bakersfield Condor out of this one, I believe, isn't it? Edmonton. Cody Moyers. Cody, you got two hits out of that one, I believe. Yes, you did. You got Ty Ratty and Joey. So, Cody, congratulations. Two nice hits out of that one. So, there you go. Some of the foils, some of the autographs we pulled. There's the hits from Mixer number five, the AHL portion. So 
So let's clean this up, keep things in order so that we don't get anybody's cards mixed up. There we go. And now let's move on to the MVP box. The MVP box. Nicholas has a question. How did, why did you start working for Wilkes-Barre Scranton? Great question, Nicholas. I actually started my career with the Pittsburgh Penguins, worked out there for several years, and then uh, you may or may not remember, there was an NHL work stoppage in 2004-2005, and they weren't sure if they were going to have a team in Pittsburgh, quite honestly. And I actually knew the people that had come out here and started the Wilkes-Barre team. Um, Jeff Barrett, who's the president of our team out here, actually gave me my first job with the Pittsburgh Penguins. He ran a soccer team called the Pittsburgh Stingers, and I did a summer internship there. Uh, called it an internship. I made $500 for the entire season, uh, but I got my foot in the door and had a chance to meet a lot of the people that worked for Pittsburgh, and I did some volunteering on game nights there, got my name known, and uh, when a job opened up with the big team, I took it and then uh, moved out here in 04, 05 uh, when the lockout was going on and been out here ever since. So that's my brief, my very brief bio for you. Justin Schultz, first penguin out of that MVP. It's sticking to Matt Zuccarello. So you remember these are, this is 36 packs five cards per pack so it's going to take a little bit longer especially when your fingernails are not cooperating let's get on to the other end and see what we can do here there we go so yeah so i've been out here for about uh 15 years believe it or not with this team several different capacities uh but i love doing the online stuff i love being involved and in talking to fans and collectors and all that, all those uh, Ty Ratty there, the Oilers. A couple hits on him in the last AHL box. Got that right, Randy. A lot of great sports around here whenever we are playing. The rail riders up the road here. You got the iron pigs down south a little bit. Even if you go up north, up into the Binghamton area, they've got the Rumble Ponies baseball. They've got all kinds of stuff. You got Syracuse with minor league hockey and baseball. Uh, Harrisburg has a minor league. Harrisburg and Bethlehem have minor league soccer teams. Lots of great. Sports going on in the area over here. See the stars of tomorrow today. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. That's one of those puzzle back variations. You can see we pulled a bunch of these last week as well. Number and the information on the front. And it's a piece of a puzzle on the back. Connor McDavid is going to be that puzzle. You can tell by the name right there. So looking to collect all those puzzle pieces. Tom Wilson. Jake Muzzin. So those are some of the short prints in here. Those puzzle backs, the other ones like we were talking about were the silver signatures, which are not actual autographs, but are kind of manufactured autographs. So we're looking for six of those in here as well. Carter Hart, Philip Zadina, Rookie, Detroit. So Randy, that one's going to be for you. Anzi Kopitar. But hopefully next week with some of that, that Series 1 box that we're going to be breaking, there's some good stuff in there. Jake the Snake, Jake from State Farm. Brian McDonough. Josh Morrissey. Brady Kachuk. 
Josh, every day is like Sunday Morrissey. If anybody picks up on that reference, I'll send you a special card. Cam Atkinson. Jimmy Vesey. Galchenik. Johnny Boychuk. Oh! Net Crashers. Sidney Crosby foil. Let's see, is that pretty slick there? Net Crashers insert, Sidney Crosby. So that is going out to Pittsburgh and Wilkesbury for this one. And that is Carmen Randazzo. Carmen, congratulations. Randy got it. Randy got my Morrissey reference. Put that Sid to the side there. Any Sid's nice, but even better whenever it's foil like that. Congratulations, Carmen. See if we pull anything else fun like that on this back here. Taylor Hall, Anders Lee. We've got our first silver signature coming up. Matthew Barzel, New York Islanders. Carl, there you go. Pretty sharp. Oh, don't hit your camera, Brian. Sid the Kid right there. So another one there for Carmen. The checklist on the back. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Mitch Marner, Huberdeau, Brent Burns. Denny Morton, how do you get your name in for the cards? Okay, Denny, thanks for tuning in. So what you have to do is you go over to Dash, uh, the Dash app, or if you go to bit.ly forward slash WBS dash. You can purchase a spot in an upcoming break. So right now we've got a break scheduled for, well, hopefully if it sells out for next week, we've put up break number six. Uh, so if you head on over to bit.ly forward slash WBS dash, you can purchase uh, your spots there. I keep... <laughs> Randy, you got good ears. That is my house. Those are the crickets right outside of my window. I need to find a more secure spot to do this in, apparently. Between the ice cream man, the crickets. Randy, maybe it is his knees. You're not far off there. I've been riding my bike a bit this week, and my body is starting to feel it. I did uh, 20 miles Saturday, 20 miles Sunday. Try to do that a couple of times a week. Morgan Riley for Toronto. Silver Signature. Kennedy Connolly. Congratulations, Kennedy. But yeah, Denny, if you uh, if you go into if you're watching on Facebook, uh, right in the um, there should be a link to get to Dash right in the uh, explanation underneath of the video tonight. Um, so you can go over there, you can buy spots in upcoming breaks. We break on Tuesday nights, seven o'clock. That's kind of the plan going forward. As long as you guys want to keep doing them, I will keep doing them. 
Oops, put that one over there. And we got another silver signature, Matthew Kachuk for the Flames. So Calgary Flames, Brittany Curtis. Brittany's having a night here in the breaks, isn't she, guys? She's got four or five by this point. Tarasenko, Brad Marchand. So we'd love to have you on board, Denny. We have a lot of fun with it. We pulled some pretty nice stuff in the last couple weeks. Uh, autographs in all the AHL boxes. We pulled that, uh, if you were here a couple weeks ago, a Quinn Hughes uh, clear cut out of a box of Series 1. That was probably our biggest hit so far. What is the Letty Sig? The Letty Sig. Oh, sorry. I kind of skipped over that, didn't I, guys? So that is a MVP Stanley Cup edition, Nick Letty. Sorry, I got talking. Thanks for calling me on it, Carl. I appreciate it. Really, seriously. Uh, if I go too fast or if I skip over something, please let me know. Um, it is a Stanley Cup edition card, it says. And it's kind of a uh, depressed silver signature there on there as well. So a nice looking card there for the Islanders. So who has the Islanders? Probably you, Carl, right? Yeah, it is you, Carl. It's pretty nice. Sorry about that. Seriously, call me out on stuff. If I'm if I'm moving too fast, if I'm yapping too much, whatever. Philip Forsberg, Jonathan Druan. Anybody surprised that the Islanders jumped out to that one game lead over the Flyers? I wasn't too surprised by the win because I know they're a good team. I was a little surprised it was a 4 nothing game. Supernova, MVP, Patrick Lane. Winnipeg. Who's got the Jets? Chris King. Congratulations, Chris. Sweet looking refractor there. Tyson Berry, TJ Brody, another one of those puzzle backs. Blake Wheeler, Mark Stone. You're right, Randy. I was surprised too by that. By uh, Randy says Randy's. Uh, Surprised by how bad the Flyers look, but the Islanders have looked good. They have. You're right. Um, don't want to take away from them either. Speaking of, Evgeny Malkin. Oshi. Jonathan Taves, another one of those MVP autograph versions. Chicago. Chicago is Brittany again. There you go. Yeah, Carl, I, you know what? Dallas being up in that series is probably the most surprising thing of the playoffs for me. So, well, maybe other than Pittsburgh not being in them right now um, or not making it to the first round. Uh, Dallas over Colorado, a little bit surprising. Colorado's got a great young team. Hopefully they can pull together and make a series out of it. Anton Heinen. Kucherov, because uh, you know, I, I definitely like watching these Western Conference teams. It's a different style of play, a little bit faster, a little bit more young, a little more freewheeling than what we're used to seeing out here. Jordan's Jaden Schwartz, Robert Robin Lehner, Tara Vinen, Rasmus Dahlin. J. 
Jacob Vrana, Joe Morrow, former Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguin. I'll never forget we were playing a uh, military night game, and we had a bobblehead giveaway outside of the building, and it was going into overtime. I want to say it was against the Connecticut Whale, and I was outside handing out bobbleheads, and all of a sudden you hear the horn go off and the buzzer and the cheering, and Joe Morrow had scored in overtime uh, to give us the win that night. It's funny the games that stick with you. Sometimes it's not the real big exciting games. It's, you know, kind of the oddball games like that that you have memories about. I have some memories about the big games too, like Tim Brent scoring against uh, Portland there to send us to the finals in 08. And actually that whole playoff and that whole series was pretty entertaining. So I do remember some of the big games, but – uh. Some of those off the wall, silly, you know, midweek or random weekend games that I got memories of too. Mitch Marner, another silver signature. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Bill. <laughs> Bill, are you in the break? I don't know if you're in this break, are you? If you just bought into if this is your first time watching and you just bought into a break tonight, those are not breaking right now. Um, those are uh, tonight's uh, the ones that are on sale right now, which is break mixer number six. Hopefully we sell that out and we open it up next week. Uh, what I did was I didn't announce it until we started this this uh, broadcast tonight so that you guys could be the first ones to get in if you were looking. So hopefully you guys have purchased spots if you want to get in. We got laser shots, LA Kings. And who's got LA? Jason Savarino. There you go, Jason. <laughs> Randy, I don't know if I want to throw that up on, on the on the feed tonight here or not. Uh, doesn't sound like a great memory. <laughs> Uh, oh, Bill Naris, Vasilios. Oh, good. Okay, Vasilios. Well, welcome aboard, and thanks for uh, being a, a fan of the Penguins here. I know you, Vasilios. I know you've purchased some stuff off us before, pucks and things. So glad you could jump in here. You've got Tampa, and you've got. Let's see who else do you got tonight? And you have Washington. So you're looking for Tampa and Washington. Uh, I'll do my best. Can't guarantee you're going to get a hit out of all. You know, every time. Um, some weeks you may go hit list, some weeks you may get five or six, just depending. But I'm glad you're giving it a try. I'm glad you're jumping in. Nathan McKinnon. Patrick Kane. Chicago, another one of those MVP Stanley Cup edition signatures. Uh, manufactured signatures, it's not a real signature, but still a pretty cool card. And I believe that's Brittany again. Ah, there's the man of the hour. Kasperi Kapanen. Back with the Penguins. So I'm going to have to find out something to, uh, some way to celebrate that later on. We'll, we'll think of something. Maybe everybody will get a little something extra in their packages this week. Uh, if you weren't tuned in earlier, I, uh, uh, all the breaks from last week and from this week will be going in the mail tomorrow and Thursday. That is my goal is to get them all out the door by end of day Thursday so that everybody has some cool stuff in their mailbox for the weekend. It's nice to get mail, isn't it? It's fun to get something in the mail. Look forward to getting a package or I know I always do whenever I buy in the breaks. I can't wait to see what's coming to me. Joe Thornton, Tyler Batuzzi. Let's see here. What do we got now? Hornfist. Holtby. So there you go, Vasilius. You got Braden Holtby. I believe you're a Washington, right? Uh, 
Okay, those crickets are still going, guys. So if you're hearing that, <laughs> I apologize. I may move down to a little bit larger space next week. These breaks just keep getting bigger and bigger, so got to find a little bit extra room here. Maybe get onto the basement. I'm a little worried about the internet connection down there, though. Make sure you guys can see everything and hear everything. Brett Walsh, nice box cutter. Well, Brett, that's thanks to the good folks out there at Steel City Collectibles. They sent that along. They sent it along. It's really cool breaking that. Uh, make me look like I know what I'm doing. P.K. Subon, another puzzle back. And they sent along a bunch of stuff, a bunch of freebies to give away tonight and for some stuff coming up as well. So uh, really appreciate those guys taking a, an interest in what's going on out here, this little fun thing we're put together. There you go. Alex Ovechkin. How's that? How's that for you, Basilio? She got an OV. Zingle, Dubois. Coming down to the last couple of packs here. In mixer number five. Mixer number six is on sale right now over on Dash. If you're looking to get in, if this is a the first time and you're enjoying it or if you're just tuning in and trying to see what's going on it's our weekly box breaking show back-to-back -back penguins there chris letang and brian rust uh we try and do at least one well this is our first week of doing two uh you guys were so cool you bought everybody bought into uh the breaks quickly filled them so it's our first two break week so excited about that Dustin Bufflin, another one of those MVP edition cards, Winnipeg Jets. Nice insert card there. So if you are interested, break number six on sale now. Dylan Strom, Chicago Blackhawks. Wow. Chicago is Brittany again, isn't it? It is. Brittany, you are having a night. Congratulations. Some nights it's like that. Some nights you're going to have them raining down on you, and some nights you're going to be looking for water. Devin Dubnik, former Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguin. Dustin Brown. And our last pack, but don't go away. Don't forget, we have to give away a jersey after this. And the St. Louis Blues. We will randomize those as well. Landeskog. Reinhardt, another one of those puzzle backs. Jamie Benn. Nito. Nito Ryder. There we go. So that is mixer number five in the books. There's the silver signatures and the other cool inserts that we pulled out of that one. Lots of nice stuff. That Crosby uh, net crashes is pretty nice. You know what? Not a bad idea, Randy. Maybe I will do that starting. Well, you know, I think I, I'm going to break out some of those, those couple of uh, um, tobacco cards next week. Uh, those OPGs kind of inspired me for that. And yeah, maybe we'll break out a card or two and uh, and see what's going on and see how we do that. Uh, if I can share some of my personal collection with you guys too. So there we go. That is break number five in the books. Don't go away just yet. I'm going to 
show you guys real quickly the jersey that we got for a giveaway this week for this break we get these cards all out of the way all the nice big hits will get sleeved and sent out to you guys along with the rest of your cards So, here's what we're doing. Sam Militic, Game Worn. Size 56, Jersey. We are going to randomize. We are going to randomize everything and uh, the top spot on the randomization will be taken home this jersey. And then, let's see here. Jersey winner. And then we're going to random the second spot. We'll get the St. Louis Blues. So that's what we're doing for this one. We've got uh, next week, we're going to give away that Casey DeSmith photo with uh, break number six that's coming that you guys are buying into. That Steel City was so cool to send along. Um, So top spot is getting the Militic. The next spot is going to get the St. Louis Blues. So we're going to share our screen again. And I'm going to copy all those names. So those are the names for break number five. You can see mixer number five right up here. Those are all the names in mixer number five. Now we're going to go over to random.org. And you guys can see that on your screens now. I'm going to paste all those names into there. Again, do not pay attention to the numbers that are next to the names right now. Uh, the way this is going to work is the top spot is going to take home the jersey. The second spot, we'll get the St. Louis Blues that were not a part of this break. So BTI, we're going to roll those dice three times, and we got a seven. So we're going to go seven rounds. So here we go. Round three, round four, five, six. So here we go. First spot is going to get the jersey. Second spot gets the St. Louis Blues. Chris Lushevsky winning the jersey and Vasilios. Congratulations, buddy. First night in the breaks, and you're getting an extra team for it. You get to take home the St. Louis Blues as well. So I'm just going to pop those into my spreadsheet so that I know everything that's going on here. Randy, that Casey's, we're going to do that Casey next week. That Casey 8x10 is going to be for break number six, mixer number six. So that's we're going to save that one for next week. So everybody this week is getting a pack of the cards. So all the stuff that Steel City sent to us, they send uh, 24 packs of cards. So we've got 24 breakers in here. So everybody's going to get a free pack of cards. Uh, I'm going to throw in some extra stuff I have in the office as well. And next week, that Casey 8x10 is going to be part of number six. So we will uh, we'll hold on to that until then. Uh, the Blues are going to the second spot tonight, which is Vasilios. And Chris Lushevsky is getting the jersey. Um, so we'll hold on to that, the Casey, until next week. So no, no problem. Yeah, my bad. No problem. Nobody's bad. It's okay. Um, so this was four and five tonight. And then what we're going to do is uh, – Get ready for number six. So it looks like it's selling pretty well. I appreciate you guys jumping in on that. 
I appreciate you guys all sticking around tonight too for an extra long break. Um, cool. Cool, Nicholas. Uh, you can't wait for Wallpaper Wednesday tomorrow either. So we'll have some stuff going up with that. Uh, yeah, let's check back tomorrow. We also have a, if you uh, saw it last week, we have a weekly Stanley Cup playoff show that we're doing on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter called Bubble Wrap that our broadcaster, Nick Hart, is uh, overseeing. Uh, so we'll be here with that tomorrow. So if you get a chance, tune in around 4 o'clock for that. Um, and that's it. So thanks very much, everybody. We're getting all this stuff out to you this week, I promise. I got shipping supplies and everything in hand. I'm going to go and sort through this all tonight before I go to bed so I don't forget. And then uh, we'll see you back here hopefully next week if everything sells out. Um, don't forget, you can always hit me up via email at bcoe at wbspenguins.com. Um, spread the word on the breaks. We hope everybody had a good night. Randy Oliver or Nick, or Brandy's chirping in here. What's, congratulations, everybody. Yeah, turn on some uh, hockey right now. Um, go ahead and watch those games. Stay tuned for what's going on in the Stanley Cups. And no, thank you, Randy. Um, glad you guys could stick around tonight. Glad everybody had a good time. Um, so keep your eyes on your mailboxes. Lots of cool stuff headed your way. Until next week, hopefully, I'm Brian Coe. See you back here on Breaking the Ice. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Talk to you later. <laughs>